All right, welcome back, everybody. Today we are building. Well, we're stringing up wire and building a dry lot for pigs and cows. Uh, all the cows are over there. The wire is it up. We're using electric wire, not barbed wire. Electric. Anyway, we're gonna show you some uh, stuff. What we do um, and other stuff. Ooh, Maybell, you're getting way nicer. Well, you always were. She doesn't like her head getting touched. Um, we, uh, if you guys watched the last video about the cows, you would know she miscarried. So she did have a calf, but now she doesn't have a calf. So, well, actually, she does have a calf now because she got bred by Mr. Bull, who's over there, if you can see him. He's a black Angus. Uh, uh, so now she has, she should have a calf because I think she's supposed to come into heat today. So, she didn't. So that's a good sign. Anyway, we're not going to talk about cows. We're going to talk about fence, electrified fence. And we're going to show you letting out the pigs. So, we'll show you letting them out, them up there at the top. Kaden, I'm going to send him up and uh, right over here, since we're talking about fence and not animals, I'm going to show you what we're going to be doing. I'm going to send Kaden up there and there's some netting. Right there, there's some red netting. I'm going to send him up to go pull that and put it and then push it over here. Anyway, but right here there's rebar. All the way up that way. Now it has a one strand. Uh, it's about ten, five feet right here, I think, away from the fence. And right all the way from here this post to that post all the way over there is going to be a feeder panel. So that means it's a panel has slants in it. Anyway, we're not we haven't built that yet, so we have this temporary fence up and pigs can get under it. As you can see, it's not very doesn't have any more strands. So we're just going to use that poultry uh, uh, wire over there, pull it this way. So then those pigs can't get under it. Uh, we're going to show you. We are pinning the wire since these are full, somewhat full grown pigs. And they know the hot wire. If you have a pig who doesn't know the hot wire, you might want to put it closer to the ground. But I'll show you what we're doing. Well, I'm done over here. We're already done. We already did all that fence. About maybe... 150 yards. There's a nice barbed wire fence up there. Anyway, uh, right here is where we're going to be working, and then we're going to be working there, and then we're going to be stringing wire over there. Here's what I'm going to tell you. We've already got to pit two strands. I'll show you. We're already going to pit two strands. First strand is eight inches off the ground, okay? Eight inches. Second strand is eight inches too. Reason being is, if you look at this, when I pull it tight, I pull it straight enough. Anyway, it's gonna be somewhat eight inches off the ground, pigs and snout since they're pretty full growing and they respect it. And it's about a couple inches is about eight, inch, eight inches. If I was doing piglets, I'll lower it down to like six or three inches off the ground. But we're gonna do six. Anyway, uh, so we're gonna get started. The sun is over there, so you guys get blinded. There used to be, someone was either burning a field over there or something, because there's a lot of smoke. It's gone now. Anyway, I'm gonna put you guys up here. Well, actually, I'll put you guys right here. I'm gonna be working right there, if you guys can see that, right, right there, off to the side right here, so I'll point you guys over there. I'm not talking about bipods, I'm talking about fence. We have a nice fencing bucket right here. I'm going to flip up the screen. Anyway, we have uh, this fencing bucket. It has uh, fencing pliers. Uh, you can get these at North 40 or... I think any form store, these insulators, 
um, they were rubberized and they seem to work the best for us. Uh, so we like them. Uh, we use wood insulators. You can got, get these on Amazon for I think a hundred is twenty seven dollars and two hundred is like forty seven or something. Anyway, forty eight I mean. So these are pretty cheap. It's like a uh, not it's like ten cents, twenty cents a piece. And then we lose these insulators. You can get these at North 40 or on Lion. Uh, they, we lose these. They just hook to the front of the T-post. They seem to work the best for us, so we lose them. Uh, and we do lose these Extendo ones right here. They're like longer. So you can get a pair of sizes. There's this one. And this one. You can see it's about maybe an inch, a couple of an inch longer than that one. The reason why we lose these ones is because there is wire, woven wire along this fence. So we want to stick this past the electrified wire past the woven wire. So we will show you some tips with ins these gate hooks. If you ever have trouble with, um, let's say, uh, trying to hook it to a fence or not getting the right amount because you can stick a wire for here but we'll show you how we stick a wire for here and it like works all the, it works good so we'll show you how to do this and also we'll show you how to do fence stays yes fence stays these are for electrified wire though so the electric wire fence stays we'll show you how to do some of those anyway let's get started i'm going to be starting right on this t-post my way towards Caden. All I'm gonna do, I'm gonna go over here. I have a tape measure. It's purple. It's mom's, but I, I'm losing it, so uh, I don't really care. Anyway, uh, all I'm gonna do, is take your tape measure out. And we're gonna do eight inches. So you're gonna touch the ground and go eight inches off the ground. So eight inches will be about. Now this has a wire in the way, so I gotta bend it. There we go. Take off this insulator. Go right over here. Alright. I just put on this insulator right here. As you guys can probably see, maybe. There's an insulator up here now. Uh, I'm gonna change out this insulator because it's bad. When I mean it's bad is it's busted. So it busted because a cow even rubbed up against this fence or it, the wire was too tight or anything. The grass is touching my hair. It felt like a snake. Anyway, you can see it's busted. The little hook right here is gone. Tuck that away. We're gonna grab out one of these insulators, the reason being is, is this wire is, actually no, I'm going to grab out a Stendo insulator. Now, I'm going to go like this, and I'm going to go 8 inches from the first, from here, up, so 8 inches, I lose the tape measure. I know you guys. So right here is eight inches. Uh, you gotta, you're gonna have to measure it on your T post. Eight inches is right here. So then all I'm gonna do is you're gonna hook. There's a little hook. This side goes on the front of the T post. You're gonna hook that first. So all you're gonna do, you're actually gonna do it over here first. We're gonna hook it, and then we're gonna click it. It doesn't want to click. Good thing I have pliers though. You don't need to lose pliers. You can, I, I don't want to waste all day. Nothing does not want to go in, so I'm just going to have to. Anyway, and uh, we'll 
show you on this other fence, we did something different. We don't, we didn't do two hot white, we didn't do two insulators, we did uh, three. But I'll show you on the next fence over here. Anyway, so that's about what it looks like. Reason why it's that far apart is because there's a woven wire fence. So, we're just gonna lose two and it doesn't really matter because uh, the pigs, even if they get through this, they can't go through the woven wire fence. So, grab our fencing, fencing bucket, grab our tape measure, move over to the next tape post. So that's about 10 inches, but I'm gonna leave it. And eight inches right here. The reason why I'm leaving it 10 inches again, there is a woven wire fence. No way for the pigs to get through the woven wire fence and the hot wire. So I'm just doing it pretty far apart on this one. I can even just do one strand, but Get on the other side. Geez, that one's really hot. Another really hard one. I am. And right there. And now. Grab my tape measure and move along. You can probably see, maybe not. If you look down, there's a uh, tea post that's kind of sticking out of the ground. But there's nothing I can really do because there's rocks here. So basically, what I'm going to do is uh, measure this just like that. Measure eight inches. This one is almost a foot. So eight inches is like at the bottom, right down here. Right here. Okay. Pigs are hungry because I haven't fed them. And there's a good reason why I haven't fed them yet. It's easy to... What? Alright, there we go. I just keep on moving insulators down. So, we'll just move them down. Now, you guys are probably wondering what's going in here. Boars. Yep, there's gonna be boars in here. Uh, you guys have probably been following us long enough that you guys know our, our feeder pigs, or three feeder pigs, or boars because we didn't castrate them because they were too old at the time which I mean we could still castrate them but it doesn't matter I mean they can't get in with the, their mom they can't get in with any other pig and we're not really worried about it because I mean the meat still tastes kind of fine for us but we're gonna be done with Cooney Coonies uh, so we're gonna sell out and we're gonna start with Idaho, Idaho pasture and I think some Duroc and Bookshire. And I kind of want to start my own breed of pig. I might do like Idaho Pasta Pig, Duroc, Red Wattle, Bookshire or something. I don't know. I'll figure it out. I might want to get some Tamworth. I'm not just going to do a uh, Idaho Pasta Pig because I'm probably going to start maybe getting some Tamworth or something. Duroc maybe. I'm going to get a Duroc for sure because Duroc's grow really, really fast, and I like pigs that grow really, really fast, because then I don't have to pay for as much feed. So, they're like almost 12 months old, and they're not very big. I mean, they're like maybe, I don't know how big they are, actually. So this one, we're going to have to go nine inches, because we have no short He posts in the pan in the ground enough so we have to go 10 inches but 
Remember, this is for boards. Not for piglets or anything. So these are like for full grown pigs. So we shouldn't have any problem with um, escapees because. And I broke this in the eh, I'll just break it off, I guess. Looks like it's bad anyway. Huck it in the bucket. Um, so we should be fine with nothing escaping because they are strained to hot wire. Now if you have a pig that's not strained to hot wire, like I said, you might want to tie the fence. Once. But now the boars are going to be on hot wire. So, yeah. How far does that go? Well, I didn't want it like that. Talk over here. Hi, Taffo. This is Taffo. Well, I think if I. Let me shuck. If you pull that one out and maybe pull it, I can pull it maybe. Which one? This stuff's pretty hard to work with. I'll tell you that. And also, we got a rebar. That one should be fine. I think we're gonna have to. Um, pull the rebar or something. Eh. We'll just take out this. Go like that. And so pull this rebar and get it hooked up, okay? Oh jeez, I just fell over. That wire, I hate that wire. We have to lose it though. Hi Taffy. Taffy's pregnant too. I think Taffy is like five no not around five should be around. We were like two or three months pregnant, so not very far along, but still. Come on, get out of camera, get out of camera. Get out of here. Okay, I got a bunch of slivers in my fingers. I think I'm at the bottom again. It's actually the T-post because the T-post is probably a little wide and the insulator can't really go on. Oh, 